Okay, so let's continue for the module 3. So this time, we are going to complete the partnership income tax for 2020. So let's start. So what is partnership, guys? So when you say partnership, it means a business having two to 15 co-businessmen to open up a business with the intention of having profit or maximize its capital at the end of the year. Okay? So partnership will be handled by a general partner. So some partners can be limited, can be silent partner, etc. So distribution of profits can be divided through ratio and proportion. It can be based on percentage, can be based on its beginning capital or ending capital, etc. So board of directors, when we are having a partnership business, can be a member or not a part of the partnership. So board meeting is needed to discuss, implement, evaluate, and approve matters on handling the partnership business. You need to know first what kind of partnership is. Taxation of general partnership is not the same when you are taxing a professional partnership. They are different. Okay, so here's the trivia. When you are taking general partnership, it is just like corporate income tax by getting its 30% income tax. So it's easy. But after dividing the net income among partners, they need to pay the 10% final tax to the BAR as part of their personal share. Under taxing professional partnership, it is just like a professional tax. Partners are entitled to get first their share of net income before deciding if they are going to use 8% outright tax or using the withholding tax table. Okay? If ever they opt to use 8% outright tax, then they have to use withholding tax table once their sales falls on 3 million up. Okay. So, if the business is a merchandising, you need to use this um, income statement. We have the sales less the cost of sales is equals to gross profit. Then you need to deduct the operating expenses to get your operating income. Okay? If it's a service business, then you have the service income or revenue. Then you need to deduct the operating expenses to have the operating income. Okay. Next formula is to, to get the net amount of the operating income and put it here on the gross compensation income. Add the other income is equal to total compensation income. Minus the government contribution and the allowable deduction, which is the maximum 90,000, to get your net taxable income. So, if you already get the net taxable income, that's the time you need to proceed with the competition of the progressive income tax or yearly tax. Okay? So, it's the same with the competition of the sole, the partnership, and the professional tax. It's almost the same. Okay, the table is the same. So you have the bracket here. So this table came from the trim tax law. Okay. So let's proceed with the sample or the different sample for you to understand the computation of the partnership. So our example number one is partnership is general partnership. So we need to compute the general partnership competition. So ABC partnership had an annual sales of 900,000 with expenses of 268. Okay? Having a 30, 50, and 20% share of profit. Compute the statement of operation of ABC partnership. So we compute the uh, income statement. So here's the income statement. Sales of 900,000 minus 268 is equals to operating income of 632,000. Okay? Because it is general partnership, you get to get first tax of 30%. So 632,000 multiplied by 30%, so you have the tax of 189,600. So that's the net income of ABC partners. So for P2, 400 will be distributed among them based on 30, 50, and 
Okay? So, we have here the competition. So, part 3 have 442, 400 multiplied by 30%. Okay? Less the 10% final tax. So, final tax is base here. So, 132,720 times 10%. So, he needs to pay to the BIR of 13,272 pesos. So, it's share of partner A. What about partner B? She have 50% share. So, for 400 times 50%. So, she had 2 to 1 to 200 less the 10% final tax. So, 2 to 1 to 100 less 22,120 for the 10%. So, it's the share of partner B, which is 199.08. So, she will, uh, he will receive this one, 199.08. Less of the 30% tax and 10% final tax. Partner C have 20% uh, 20%. So for 420 times 20%. So have 88,480 minus the 10% final tax of 8848. So the share of partnership is 79,62. So I hope you understand the sample competition number one. Okay, what about sample competition number two? So this time, the example is a professional partnership. So same, same sample, annual sale of 900,000, expenses of 268, but their partnership is a professional partnership. So how to compute this one if they are using the outright tax? Okay, so here's the computation. Again, you need to get the 900,000 minus 268. So we have the basis of 632, which is the operating income. So if they're using the outright tax, here's the competition. So 632 times 30%. So we have 189,000. Okay? Less the 8% outright tax. So how to compute the outright tax? Please understand the competition. Okay? The distribution to partner, how to put the outright tax? 900,000, which is the basis here, times 30% because you need to deduct first the 30% the, the 30 and then multiply it by 8%. So that's your outright tax, 21,600. So you will receive 168,000 at the end of the day. Okay? For partner B, we have 632 times 50%. So, it's 3.16. So, 8% outright tax is 900,000 times 50% times 8%. So, we have outright tax of 36,000. Here C. So, we have the 632,000 times 20%. So, partner C had 126,400. So, and then you need to put the outright tax. Again, outright tax is based on the annual savings. So, 900,000 times 20% times 8%. So, that's the outright tax of 14,400. So, let's continue with the competition of sample number 3. So, this time, it's the same. It's a professional partnership again. But this time, we are using the withholding tax table. Okay? So, how to compute for that? Again, let's compute first the statement of operation. We have the sales, the expenses. Then, we have the operating income. The difference between the two is 632,000. Okay? So, how to compute for the tax when we are using the withholding tax table? So, here's the computation. Okay, for partner A, so we have 632 multiplied by 30%. So, the amount is 189,600. She had uh, 0% tax since her income is only 189,600. Okay? What about partner B? Partner B had 50% share. So, 632 times 50%. So, she had 316,000. So, gross compensation income is 316, other income is 0, so total income is 316,000. 
less the government contribution of 20,400. So I base it on um, 20,000 salary. Okay, so 20,400. So we have the remaining amount if you deduct this to of 295,600 pesos. So that's her basis for the tax. Okay, annual tax will be P zero. So the meaning 45,600 will be multiplied by 20%, which is 9,120. So that's her payment for the annual tax of 9,120 per annum. And monthly tax, you divide it by 2 at uh, 12. 9,120 divided by 12, so we have 760 pesos. Okay, monthly tax. So this one will be paid to the BAR. Okay, what about Partner C? Okay, for the partner C contribution, we have 62 times 20%. So, she only received 126 400. So, since uh, our uh, minimum amount is to have at least 250,000, which is not subject to tax, and her income is only 126, so she will not pay any withholding tax amount. Okay? So, I hope you understand the differences between the computation of the professional tax using withholding tax table, professional tax using uh, outright tax table, uh, outright tax which is 8%, and general partnership which is part of the computation of 30% tax.